Hey, what's going on guys? It's Drake with Extreme Sports here in Joplin, Missouri. And today I'm gonna to show you how to properly pack your travel bag with your dive gear. Uh, if you'll come up here a little closer, we are using the Scoop Pro Caravan Bag. The reason why I like the Caravan Bag is it's got these tie down points on the inside as well. It's got some nice zippers over here and all the zippers on the bag are premium YKK zippers. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get these out. We use beach balls to kind of fill, fill the bags up here for the store. But if you'll come over here, I've got a uh, BC here. And four BCs with even BPIs uh, and Air 2s. We'll go ahead and take the Air 2 and we'll push it forward. And the reason we're gonna do this is because we wanna wrap the BC around it and protect that Air 2. Uh, they are fragile components and we wanna keep them nice and cratered. So we'll take that BC and we're just gonna set it down here into the bag. And what I like to do is I'll go ahead and use these straps that are in here uh, for the, in the side of the Scoopro Caravan bag. And I go ahead and strap them down. And for these front ones, since this one is a smaller BC, uh, it'll be, nope, it's gonna be nice and tight up here in the front. And it'll strap this BC down and kind of hold it in place. We now wanna take our fins. Uh, these are some Scoot Pro Nova fins. Uh, obviously these aren't mine, these are turquoise. Um, however, what I like to do is when I get my boots, store my boots on the inside of them, flip them up so the bungee holds the boots in place, and we'll go ahead and place them on the inside. And do the same thing with the other fin on the opposite side. So this almost creates a, a wall. And the reason we want that is because airports treat bags horribly. Uh, no matter what kind of bag you get, they're banging stuff on the side of them. And these fins are gonna add a little bit of protection for that extra gear that's in the back side or on the inside. Uh, so what we'll do now is I'll show you on a wetsuit we basically like to roll them up as tight as we can. So we'll fold the arms straight in and we're gonna roll it up all the way down. You kind of cross these legs a little bit, fold them up and wrap these guys around. And we're gonna place this on this side of the BC. You can see what we're doing. We're kind of trying to make a, a little bit of a packaging inside this thing. Uh, as for a mask, I like to use a little mask container here like the D-masks, they come with a zippered box, uh, but for these, works perfect. And even the boxes they come in can work pretty good, but this adds a little bit more ventilation. So uh, masks are tempered glass, so they can break, so having protection is a must. I take that, and I'm gonna go ahead and just set that right on top of here. Um, and then next, for me personally, I like to take a waterproof dry bag, especially if I'm on the boat. It'll keep everything nice and dry, phones, wallet, keys, extra clothes. Roll them up, a little bit of air in this one. And uh, I put that in the front side. So now I'm kind of protected from all four corners. My BC is nice and protected. Now you may be thinking, what about the regulator? That's the most important regulator and computer. Uh, that's when these regulator bags come into play. Uh, they have nice protection all, all sides. Premium, nice YKK zippers again. And uh, like this one comes with a regulator bag that's on the inside that actually clips on. Um, another protection for your computer. However, I do not pack this in a check bag. I carry this with me on my carry-on, and the reason for that is because it is a premium instrument, it's expensive, and if my gear doesn't show up, I can always rent a BC, fins, you know, mask, wetsuits, things like that. As of regulator and computer, I like to have my own, keep my logs, or keep my dives logged, and because, uh, for sanitation reasons, I like to have my own regulator. So I put this on my carry-on, plus uh, regulators and computers can get kind of heavy, so you take away from adding that extra weight in your travel bag. And uh, try to see, yeah, and I've got some extra stuff here for like a, a travel hanger. I like to go ahead and stick these inside. I'll just set all this extra stuff on top of here, basically creating a little bit of boundary for my BCD. And uh, now I can go ahead and pack my clothes on the top side. May want to put some hats, uh, shoes, stuff like that on the top side. And as you can see with this caravan bag, I still have tons and tons of room. And because I'm taking that regulator on board with me, I've lost a little bit of weight uh, that I can add for that. And as the last part, uh, snorkel, I like to use these little apnea snorkels. The reason for that, I just fold them right up, crunch them up. And what's nice about the Scoop Pro caravan bag, I can, un oh, it was already open. Unzip it here, stick that wadded up, put some maybe gloves, hood, uh, stuff like that on the outside, reels, uh, things that I'm not too worried about getting getting beat up, but mainly uh, neoprene items and stuff like that. 
go ahead and zip the bag up here. And what we like to do is go ahead and tag all our bags. So any, any point that you can, what's nice about these ones too, they've already got a spot where you can go ahead and slip an ID card in there uh, to show that it's your bag. Uh, but the, uh, the Scoop Pro Caravan bag is a phenomenal bag for protecting your dive gear and it leaves tons of space for extra stuff. If you guys have any more questions, give me a holler or uh, shoot me an email at drake at westonfamilycompanies.com. Have a good day.